Within this video, we're going to go ahead and continue through our lesson one. Specifically, the section we're going to look at is our interface activity one, manipulating the actors. So you can follow along here inside the PDF, but of course, you can follow along in this video. So to begin this, let's actually just hit the play button, this button right here, and see what's actually going to happen. So when we hit it, we just click on it. We'll see that we have a ball that basically just drops straight out of here. And that's not that exciting. And what we really want to do is we want to get this ball into this bucket right here. So to do that, we're actually going to be using one of the inclined planes. Now, if you've actually clicked inside of this viewport and you can move it around, simply just press the escape key on the keyboard and that will actually stop the game. Now, if your camera is in a really strange place and it's looking off maybe at the ceiling or the floor, you can simply press just the one key on the keyboard and that will always send your camera to the correct location and looking in the correct direction. Next, let's go ahead and add in the inclined plane. And to do that, we're going to have to open up the content drawer, also known as the content browser. You can do that by clicking on this little button down here in the very far left hand corner. Simply just click on that and you should be inside the content folder. So this one right here and specifically the one that we're looking for is this one right here, this geometry scripts. You can, of course, get at it over here as well. So we're going to just double click on this. And what we're looking for is this one right here, this inclined plane. We want to go ahead and add one of these in and we're going to add it directly below this little yellow line that you see here inside of the level. So I'll just click down here and drag this in. You'll see that we get an inclined plane and just let go with your mouse and it'll go ahead and just snap into place. Now, something I want to point out is that this didn't actually snap to the surface of this counter. It's actually floating just above it. And with this object selected, I can check that by pressing the F key and it will actually focus in on that object. The next thing I want to do is actually kind of orbit around this. So if I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard and the left mouse click and drag and go left and right, you can see I can kind of move around this. And if I go up and down, you can see that there is definitely a gap underneath there. And I want to make sure that this is on the surface. So to make it snap down to the actual surface with this object selected, I'm just going to press the end key on the keyboard and it will snap directly down. Let's go ahead and reset the camera so that we're back to where we were. And we can simply do that, of course, by pressing the one key on the keyboard. Now, as I mentioned before, the idea is to get that ball to drop and then to actually roll down here into our bucket A. And if we take a look at our inclined plane over here, I'm just going to press the escape key on the keyboard and then we'll unselect anything. You'll see that the plane is actually facing the wrong direction. So we need to actually rotate this. So with this one selected, we can come up here to the top of the interface and there is a rotation button that will actually allow us to use our rotation gizmo. So go ahead and click on that. And you notice that the gizmo down here now actually changes. So to rotate this, I'm going to hover over this blue section, the bottom of this gizmo right here, and click and drag to the left. And you'll notice that it'll kind of snap. So what I want to do is actually get this so it's a perfect 90 degrees. And you'll notice that that line is no longer actually hitting that inclined plane. So let's go ahead and move that plane over. So we'll come back up here. And we'll go ahead and use our move gizmo. So this one right here. And I can then slide this over. So to do this, I want to hover over this arrow right here. You'll see that it turns yellow once I'm hovering over it. And I'm going to click and drag and you'll see it kind of snaps over like so. So now that we have this turned and actually facing the right direction and underneath that little arrow right there, I'm going to go ahead and hit the play button and let's see if this will actually make it into that A bucket. That's not moving really quickly and I don't think it's going to make it. So what that means is that we actually need to manipulate this further and actually play with one more piece that's actually very integral to this inclined plane to get it to work. We just need to make it steeper. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the stop button up here at the top of the interface. And let's go ahead and start playing with this piece right here. This is called a 3D widget, which is different from the gizmo, which is the arrows. When you actually click on the widget, it does actually give you a gizmo that you can move around, which is exactly what we want. And if I hover over this blue arrow and click and drag straight up, you can see that we can actually make this taller. So let's make it a little bit taller, about there or so. And now let's actually hit the play button and see what happens. Well, now the ball has actually got quite a bit more momentum. And look at that, it's gonna go right into that bucket. So excellent. Now we've understood how to actually rotate an object, move an object using the gizmo, and then using this specific widget that's labeled size, we can actually manipulate the shape of our inclined plane. 
And this is the point where we would love to see you just kind of sit and play with this. So can you get the ball to roll all the way into bucket B or even make it into bucket C? So what is it that you need to do? How is it that you need to use the gizmos and the widget to get that ball to roll this far or to roll over here? Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'd be really interested to see what you come up with because there's more than one way to make this actually work.